Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh, you're straight down below me. You should be okay. Coming down towards you. Uh. filling that in yet, but eventually we're going to want to get rid of that hole. Thank you, baby. That's one other thing about this game is your oxygen when you're underwater does not last long at all. It's very easy to lose track of it. And when you start drowning, you lose 5 health per tick. materials to make your gathering tool improved? Mm hmm Okay. What about a shotgun? No. What That's what you need just... the coal for? No. The coal was for the minigun. Oh, you're right. It was just iron you should have needed for the shotgun. Oh, well. Which I should have a bunch now. stone to start making concrete, then we can start actually working on the base. We're going to need more fish things, we're going to need more blue gems, more iron. Do you have a glowing plant? The flower of light? There you go. I did the wrong way. Thank you, baby. Welcome, baby. to stumble upon coral, make sure we're grabbing that. Mm -hmm. That's what was giving us trouble last time. Also, unlike a lot of the other games this genre, you cannot dig up 
to uh, make a air hole. It was an area that doesn't already have air in it, so no more magical little air bubbles if you're trying to travel deep. I'm still not entirely sure how we're going to get to those uh, floating island things. I have to learn the physics of this uh, engine a little bit better. Also, I so haven't uh, actually pointed that out yet. This game actually does have building physics to where if you build too high, you'll see how these are starting to crack. Or if you build sideways too far with no support, your entire structures can just collapse on themselves in chain reaction where you lose your entire building. Okay, I'm going to start digging this area out a little bit. I'm not going to hollow it out though, so nothing can get underneath this yet. Okay. So anyone observant would have noticed earlier when I took out that bottom brick, it removed all the ones above it. You can stick stuff to the back wall if it's dirt, and only if it's dirt. There might be something higher tier where you can, but I know once we get to the concrete ones, we can't do that. Which is why we're wanting to build our base here in this area, where we can just stick it to the back wall. Reduce the risk of a uh, catastrophic collapsing if an enemy destroys a particular part of the base. Almost night. Can you survive the night alone? Oh yeah, it's still just bugs and dogs right now. Plus I'm here with the turrets, so... Turret, shotgun, and the rifle are just bugs and dogs. Oh god. The better question is, can you?
If I didn't have two dinosaurs chasing me, sure. <laughs> I do still like the music in this game. Like the regular atmospheric music still real chill and the combat music uh, has a nice little flair to it. Their dog's just drowning to the uh, lower left of the base. I'm pretty sure that's me killing them. If you're hearing doggy noises. I uh, know, I was seeing numbers down there by the water. Yeah, they were definitely drowning. Yeah, another one is right there. <laughs> <laughs> 